Oh, hello, my name's Marco. You may recognize me from my custom sneaker videos. Started off with this, now we have this. Today, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different, so please watch. We're gonna be painting steaks. No, not dinner steaks, water steaks. Bad joke. I'll show you what I mean. Let me get an old one. See, this is a water steak that we, I mean, that Matthew will use in the rice fields. It's basically like a ruler to tell him how much water is in the field. See, it's a one inch increment. So he'll put this out in the field and this would be zero or just water barely covering the surface. This would be minus one that there's not a lot of water minus two getting pretty dry, minus three totally dry, but on the positive end, one inch deep of water, two inches deep, three inches deep, four inches deep. I mean, how else do you think rice farmers know how much water is out in their fields, especially when rice is growing? Just throw a rock in there and <laughs> no. Anyway, I hope you're super satisfied with this video. Well, what do you think? Should we get started? Okay, come on. my custom water steak that I made for Matthew because I'm a rice guy. Oh, nice guy. That's a stupid joke. I hope you found this custom steak video satisfying. Please um, hit the like button because I'll be giving one of these steaks away if I hit 100,000 likes or 1 million subscribers. And I'll leave a, a video of one of my custom sneaker jobs down in the description. So if you'd like to see that, that would be that would be that would be cool. Be cool. It'd be pretty nice. I'm just gonna. Well, I'll let um, Matthew explain a little bit more about how he uses these water steaks. So, um, see ya. Wow. Thank you, Marco. These water steaks, custom by you, are super sweet. All right. Let's work. It's the 2020 crop year. My name is Matthew Sliger. That's right, we're out in California planting rice by air. Welcome to the rice fields. Ride with me from planting to harvest. This is California Rice, my friends. You're watching Rice Farming TV. Again, guys, equipment's ready. It feels like it's summertime out here, obviously. A little bit of rain in March, this first weekend in March, not enough, not enough. Not even enough to saturate our fields. We're working on our water stakes today. This is going to help us irrigate. We redo them every single year because when we drain the fields right before harvest, we quite frankly just leave the stakes in the field. So we either cut them up through the harvester. There's some old stakes still out there actually We'll hop in the pickup and we'll drive by and I will demonstrate to you how we use the stakes. Actually, I did a brief video on the California Rice Commission's YouTube channel about how we use our water stakes. Let's uh, flip over to that real quick. This morning I'm checking the water level of our rice fields. We do this on a daily basis to ensure that we're only using the amount of water of which the crop needs. We have these stakes that help us out. They have one inch increments on them that will show us the level of the rice field. So you can imagine once the canopy of the rice grows up, we need these tall four foot stakes. So first that we can identify where they're at because they'll be peeking up above the canopy of rice about this much. And then we go down and kind of part the plants and are able to see where the water level is on these stakes and therefore out in the field. Because aside from not being able to find the stakes in the field if they weren't tall enough, we certainly couldn't just look across the field and see the level of the water. So we have one stake on the west side of the field and the east side of the field. And we usually then take an average of those 
two stakes to get an idea of the water level across the entire section of that field or as we refer to it as a check. If it was one inch on the west side and zero on the east side, perhaps because there's a south wind blowing the water, we would then call that field, that section, half an inch, take an average of the two. So pretty simple fractions that we're using on a daily basis to determine how much water is out in the field, how much water we need to add, or how much water we need to cut back. Let's check out and let's see if I can't find an old stake and just kind of show you uh, practically how we use these stakes out in the field. So let's go. Okay, so perfect. I can already see uh, just across the ditch here that there's an old stake from last year. So let's check it out. You see it? Right here. It didn't get chopped by the harvester out here, but it is definitely just a little bit too weathered to use again for an entire year. There's a zero, one, two, three, four, five, minus one, minus two, beneath the zero here. By the way, just look how dry the fields are. So that first weekend rain in March really didn't do much. Imagine we're looking out across this field and it's being flooded with water and we can just kind of look out in the distance and we can see a little bit of dirt but most of the field looks like it's completely saturated that it has standing water on it basically it's just a thin skim layer of water we might be able to see a little bit of dirt more towards the north which would be the higher side of the check as there's a slight grade as it goes down from check to check and, at, and eventually out the field and it helps push the water off but anyway we know that that level is the bare minimum where we have water all the way across the field so what we'll do then is we'll take the stake and a hammer and we will hammer the stake in until wherever the water level is out here in the field, wherever the water level is, that it is basically hits the white line, the zero, because we know that's just barely enough to feed the crop of rice. So the white line doesn't go down to the soil, right? Because remember, we're gonna have some water up against here. So it looks like negative three is what hit the dirt before the water level hit zero this last past year when we used this stake. So then the water level here when we hammer the stake in is at zero and as we build the field up with water we want it about two inches deep before we seed so we will wait until the level of water hits that two inch red line. We don't like a lot of water out there we like two inches because it's shallow enough to we know that if something happens with our ditch pumps we're not going to be stressed out about needing to repair it super fast to get water back out here because the plants will have sufficient amount of water for a couple of days. Usually that doesn't happen, it's just kind of a security. We don't like deeper water because deeper water tends to push rice, the seeds that is, across the field. If there's high winds, deeper water usually creates a little bit more wave action. But that in a rice hole is how we use those stakes that Marco made for us. So again, thanks Marco for making those custom stakes. I hope you guys like this little video that I did and um, we'll be using the stakes of course throughout the season. So you'll actually see me in practice using them. I just wanted to give you kind of an overview of what we do and how we do use them. Again, it is coming into the second week of March and we're still waiting for rain. Haven't got much. Anyhow, thanks for watching everybody. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If I get enough, Marco's going to send out uh, custom steaks to everybody. All righty. Bye-bye. Time is it, Big L?